Hey everybody, I am John Barker and welcome back to Here to Record Show and Tell. This is the show all about event videography, uh, live streaming and the gear you need to make it happen. So today we're taking a look at two separate devices but pretty similar devices. We have Blackmagic's Micro Converter HDMI to SDI and the Micro Converter SDI to HDMI. These are two small USB powered converters from Blackmagic. So let's take a look at them. I've got them here on the table. And uh, first up we have the SDI to HDMI. Let's just take a look at that first. So the SDI to HDMI converter, micro converter. Uh, let's take a look around the box. We have two SDI connections on this side. These are the SDI in and SDI loop out. On the other side we have a HDMI out. We have the USB power port right there. And that's pretty much it. The rest of the box is, uh, is clear. So with this one, as it says in the name, SDI to HDMI converter. So you come in via the SDI uh, over here, and you can also loop out that same signal if you want to supply it to a, a different device. But basically, you come in through SDI, and then go out through HDMI over on this side. And uh, if we just take a look at the other device, it's the HDMI to SDI. So it's kind of like the opposite to that. And uh, the, the, the device itself looks pretty similar. You've got two SDI connections on this side, HDMI on that side and the USB power on that side. But basically, in this case, you'll come in through HDMI and then you'll come out through SDI and you get a second SDI output there. So you can't loop through the HDMI, but in this case, you get two SDI outputs. Now, what's also really nice is that in the box is included the power adapters and regional uh, adapters for the device. So on one end, you get the uh, power, as you can see here, yeah, there you go. And on the other end, you've got a nice little micro USB connection. This just plugs straight into the device. Uh, yep. Yeah. And you can also use other USB cables if you've got them. But that's nice that this is included and you can use it straight out of the box. So what I'm going to do next is just show you what it looks like whenever you plug it into the computer for the initial setup. Um, so I've got a second uh, USB micro cable here and I'll just plug that into my laptop. There we go. And then just plug it into the device on the side. And like I said, you can, uh, you can power this device. Oh, wrong way around. You can power this device via USB and you can probably see, yeah, there you can see that the uh, the light just came on to say that it's connected, which is really cool. So over on my laptop, I can just open up the uh, converters, yep, Blackmagic converter setup. And in this case, I have the SDI to HDMI micro connected. I just go in here, look at the settings. And in the SDI to HDMI micro, you pretty much have one setting that you can, that you can adjust. Over on the about page, of course, you can update the software whenever it gets released. But here, You've got one option for processing, and that is for clipping the video to legal levels for broadcast. Um, so that's your one option. You can turn that on or off. I'll just save that, and then I'll just plug in, instead of the SDI to HDMI, let's plug in the HDMI ooh, to SDI. There we go. Plugging it in. The same way, the light comes on. So it is powered, and it is usable as it is um, being powered by the laptop, which is pretty cool. But uh, let's take a look. So over on my computer, I can see HDMI to SDI is now here. And just like before, you pretty much have one option. In the About page, you can update the software, but in the Video tab, I should say, you can change the output of the, the SDI. So that will be Level A or Level B. And I just stick with Level B, because that's what I use. And, um, and that's it for the software panel. So let's talk about some pros and some cons. For pros, I think one of the big pros is how small these devices are. So you can easily just set this behind a projector or somewhere like that, beside a, a TV monitor or behind the TV monitor, and no one will really notice it and it'll work really well. And that brings me on to the second uh, pro, pro, I think, which is the ability to power it by a computer or by the, the TV itself sometimes. So you can plug this into the USB port of the TV, plug it into the mini or micro converters, and it'll just work. You can just plug it in there, run your cables to it, and it'll work really well. So while you are uh, given the uh, the power adapter for it, you just plug it in via USB cable. You probably already have a couple of these lying around. So that's a really, really helpful thing to have. And the last pro is, because these are so inexpensive, and I'll get to that in a minute, you can, uh, you can just buy a bunch of them, use them all over the place. I use them to convert uh, my HDMI cameras to SDI, 
well, I guess I would use this one for that. Yeah, HDMI cameras to SDI, and then I can run long cables and leave my cameras in different places. And I also use uh, this SDI to HDMI for a few different things. So they're so small and, and affordable that you can buy a few and have them and carry them around pretty easily. I think the one major con perhaps for you might be that it only supports up to 1080p60. Um, if you're looking for anything above that, for 4K and stuff like that, you'll need to buy one of the other converters, which I have over here on their website. Um, if I just scroll down, I can see... Yeah, here we go. What you have is the mini converters or the Terranex minis, which will let you do um, much higher frame rates and uh, also 4K. So if that's something you need, then the micro converters won't quite do it for you. But if you're looking for things like 1080p uh, 50 or 1080i50, which is what I use for most of my things, then these work really well, which just leaves the price. So for these uh, units, they're both priced the same. And uh, I bought them for 70 pounds each, which works out to be about $85. That's minus VAT and tax. But uh, yeah, so for about 70 pounds, that is a pretty good deal. Um, uh, perhaps another con, if I could say, would be that you can definitely buy cheaper versions of the same thing on Amazon and on eBay, and they will technically work for you, I'm sure. Um, there's plenty of good ones, plenty of bad ones out there for cheaper prices. So in that case, you might buy a few of those and see if they work for you. But I find these ones are just rock solid, built well, and they work really well for me. So I definitely, uh, recommend checking them out. Micro Converters by Blackmagic Design. So thanks for watching. I hope you find that useful. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll, I'll try and get back to you. And I'll see you in the next episode.